um, uh, stories about this place. Oh, but basically, that. basically um, yeah, what, what, what the experience was, uh, did you really enjoy? Or an encounter with a human, actually. Oh, okay. What's your favourite encounter with a human? <laughs> is it on yet? Um, it is. Oh, oh it is on. Yeah. Okay. Hello, humans on the couch, or wherever you are. Uh, my name is Rago. I'm here standing in Star Trek The Experience, which of course is a Federation time station filling holes in Federation's history. And uh, disguised as an attraction, in my suggestion, with the help of Quark, who knows some of those people. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to share with you a favorite moment uh, of mine here at Brilliance. And, and it was a, a moment when a competitor of mine uh, uh, angered a guest and got his ears ripped off. <laughs> oh, you know, you better, no, no, you better no, you delete that. That probably is unacceptable. Let's no, see. did someone really get their ears ripped off? Uh, Dr. Vlarg. Okay. Of course, you know how, how 24th century medicine is. He was fine later that day. It took him a while to fully regrow to proper size, two or three days maybe. Two or three days, that's incredibly yeah. um, fast growth. Incredibly 24th century. <laughs> well, um, let's hope you can invent those. Uh, in, indeed. Indeed. And now, now I notice that your camera is moving away from me and toward me. Is that to hypnotize the subject? No, I'm not, not trying to hypnotize you, just to um, get some information from you. Oh, okay. Glean some information, because we're only here for a short time. Oh, oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, well, no, well, we're then here. I guess my favorite, I guess my favorite uh, moments at Star Trek The Experience have been those spent with the die-hard uh, lovers of the, of, the, of the venue, such as yourself. Thank you very much. Yes. It's wonderful to know you. Yes, it is. I mean, and you. <laughs> Do you have a question? One question. Where's my desk? He wants to know where his desk is. I, I, and, I, and I sent my desk with one of your waiters to have it polished. What happened to my desk? You see, that's why you should never send a desk or any other furniture with a food server. It probably, okay, wound, it probably wound up back there as kindling in the wood stove that we use for emergencies if there's an electrical outage. You told me he was a good carpenter on the side. Uh, I, I told you that? Well, well, if I did, I was probably practicing Rule of Acquisition 266 when in doubt live. What's that? Yeah, how much did you pay me for the information? One strip of, of latinum. You see, that's pitiful. Uh, and you, 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 what you violated was, was Rule 59. No, no. Let's see. I, I guess the rule you should have had in mind there was uh, Rule 13. Anything worth doing is worth doing for money. But in this case, for more money to me. But wait a minute. Uh, he was just supposed to polish the desk. Polish yeah, it. I mean, yeah, I know, but polish costs money, so he probably sold it to the kitchen people uh, as kindling for our wooden stove that we use in emergencies when the electricity goes out. <laughs> That's not plausible, I don't think. I don't think that's a plausible story. You, your, your desk for kindling. I, no, 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 no. You can try better than that. Come on. I, I, I lost the strip. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we'll look, well, look to see if it's lit. And someone else lost a pepper shaker. Clumsy. <laughs> so you've been over to the convention? The I, ha I have not, because when we do that, people come over here looking for us and miss us. I see, so you have to stay here now, you can't go uh, over there. It, it makes more sense, I think. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that way the convention is in two locations and streaming in between. Actually, Sorry, I had to get you and data. The truth is, I was trying to be amusing. The truth is, I never knew about this deal. You're probably confusing me with another Fringy, thinking we all look alike. Oh, you do? Yeah. You do all look, look, look alike. Yeah. So do we look alike. <laughs> see? There you are. <laughs> yeah, can't you see? It's my, he's my brother. Your twin. Yes. yes. But he's commander. Yes. You three of six, he looks like no one except himself. Acknowledged. He looks like everyone, and that's where he's from, <laughs> everyone. All right. A, A pleasure. It. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you. You're an absolute diamond, yes. both of you. And thank, thank all of you watching. Acknowledged. Yeah. Thank you, both Deep of you. Deep plan. We only have a short time, my, my, my friends. Yes. Affirmative. So when's the last party then? Even those of us.